today we will learn about cooling tower what is the cooling tower types of cooling tower and how it works so firstly what is the cooling tower a cooling tower is an enclosed tower like structure through which atmospheric air circulates to cool large quantities of water by direct contact in commercial refrigeration plant water cooled condensers are used water becomes hot what a hot after passing through the condenser and this hot water cannot be reused for cooling the condenser so cooling tower is a device used to cool the hot water coming from the water cooled condenser in a large refrigerating machine so in cooling tower water is cooled by evaporation in air and to wet bulb temperature of air the principle of cooling the water in cooling tower that is similar to the evaporative condenser the warm water is cooled by means of evaporation the air surrounding the falling water droplets from the spray nozzle causes some of the water droplets to evaporate and the evaporating water absorb latent heat of evaporization from the remaining water and thus cools it the air also absorb a small amount of sensible heat from the remaining water the cooled water collects in the pond or in a sump at the cooling tower which is recirculated through the condenser and the important point the capacity of cooling tower that is mainly depends upon the amount of water surface exposed to the air the length of the exposure time and the velocity of air passing over the water droplets formed in cooling tower and the wet bulb temperature of the atmospheric air now the classification of cooling tower the cooling towers are mainly divided according to their method of air circulation into the following two group first one is the natural draft cooling tower the air circulates through the tower by natural convection and second is mechanical draft cooling tower it is also of two types first one is force draft cooling tower and second is induced draft cooling tower so the air is forced through the tower by means of a fan or blower now we will discuss natural draft cooling tower so natural draft cooling tower since the air circulating through the natural draft cooling tower is atmospheric air therefore these cooling tower are also known as atmospheric natural draft cooling tower or simply atmospheric cooling tower so when air circulation through the tower is by natural convection in which the hot water of condenser is sprayed from the top of the tower and cooled by movement of natural air is called natural draft cooling tower so now we discuss about the main components of natural draft cooling tower and how it works so the natural draft cooling tower the main components of natural draft cooling towers are 
this is the foundation for condenser and condenser is mainly of cell type this is the metallic tank it is float valve this is the arrangement for water makeup pipe when we need the water this is the structure these are the lowers generally the atmospheric natural draft it is of spray type cooling tower and it consists of a box shaped structure as we can see with the lowers these are the lowers and these lowers on both sides allow the atmospheric air to pass through the tower but slant down toward the inside of tower to retain water in it and the this is the framework and the lowers these are usually made up of steel so this is uh, the pipe connection and from condenser this is the hot water that is supplied to the spray header and from this spray header here is the spray nozzles these are the spray nozzles and this is the water is coming out from the nozzle and this water that is falling on the in the metallic tank in the form of fine droplets from here it is the air in enter into the tower and it is passing through the water droplets and it is goes out air out and this is the arrangement of the cold water that is supplied to the condenser with the help of water pump so this is the level of the water so now we discuss the working of the natural draft cooling tower so in this type of cooling tower the warm water so this is the warm water with this arrow we can see this is the warm water from the condenser that is supplied to the spray header when it is supplied to the spray header that is provided at the top of the tower and it is sprayed down into the tower as we can see through the nozzle this water is uh, that is uh, sprayed down into the tower through the nozzle since heat transfer from the water to air the heat transfer from the water to air is dependent upon the surface of water exposed to the air stream so therefore a spray nozzle having finer spray pattern is essential for good performance of the cooling tower and it may be noted that the finer spray exposes more water surface to air so if the spray is too fine too much water is blown away and the water spray blown away by the air is called drift and the drift increases water loss in the tower but does not affect the cooling action and the natural draft cooling tower is located as per situation if enough space is available it is installed in open air outside the building but when space is not enough and natural air is restricted the roof of the building is the best location and there are some limitation is here the efficiency of natural draft is low 
and it occupies more space but the manufacturing cost is less and the process adapted to cool hot water is by natural air so today we learn about the natural draft cooling tower what is cooling tower and how we can classify the cooling tower subscribe to get more updates and more video on mechanical topics and universe double two you may like share among your friends and student you can ask your queries by commenting give your suggestions if required thank you have a nice day